Alright, so I locked up on a loading screen, so I'm I'm going to a part two of this video. Just grab my end reward. And I'm not going to run for my banking favor right now. Uh, let me get my expeditious retreat going. I'm going to head over to the crafting hall and run the tutorial. There's two crafting halls, there's one in House Kanith and one in House Kandarak, and we want to make sure we go to the House Kandarak crafting hall. Alright, so we'll um, go through the tutorial, and the first thing he gives us is a mission to buy stuff, which is why we ran that quest. So I'm pretty much going to sell everything that we got from there. Unless there's some really good item that I see. I don't think this is that great. I guess I'll keep these for questing. And that we can throw in the bank. And then we're going to buy... Um, See if he said, uh, well, we're going to need both of these, so let's just buy them both. And then he wants us to dissolve a staff. Let's, all right, he said dissolve her, okay. So he gave us this staff of halfling bane. We'll stick it in here and dissolve it. And that gives us two essences. And then he wants us to create a minimum level one shard with the essences and he gives us 10 extra. I think 10 is the cost. And so we go over to this machine here, the Bound Shards Crafting Device, and um, just type in level one, easiest way to find it. And click on it and then click craft, it's 100% chance. So now we have our Bound Shard. And we'll talk to him one more time. And he wants us to disjunct this weapon. So that's this black thing here. And so we'll put that in and then disjunct it. And what that does is it kind of primes it for crafting so that you could, you know, now it says, if you look at it, it says, Kenneth crafting minimum level slot. So now he says, put the minimum, very well, you've, uh, we want to combine the minimum level one shard with the weapon to make the minimum level one weapon. So now we go to the, this is the, the first one is the disjunction, the second one is the bound shards crafting device, and the third one is the bound items crafting device. We'll never need to worry about the unbound, that's really something that's, uh, more of a flavor thing it's not it's not really cost effective it doesn't make sense to do that all right so now we have our minimum level one weapon if we look at it now it it's a plus one heavy mace with with a prefix slot and a suffix slot all right so it gives us our reward and we could either um get this crafting elixir or this 25% success booster. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the crafting elixir this time because we have some success boosters already. And I'm gonna go um, over to the bank here and uh, 
I've collected a bunch of collectibles I need to pass over to my other character for training, so um, let's put in the back things. I'll, I'll keep these, I'll keep the hireling, I'll keep the stone, and I'll keep this bag for now. The heavy mace we really don't need. Um, we could actually probably go and uh, actually disjunct that for another essence. Let's do that. Give him my expeditious retreat for Peon. And I think we could actually stick it in here now. And we're not going to ever do anything with this weapon. And we could say dissolve it. And that gave us two essences. So that's better than having a weapon we can't use. And uh, I'm going to pass all the stuff back to my main character once I uh, grab some stuff out. So now we got to figure out, we only have one character, so I don't really have a plan for what to do with this. But I think what I'm going to do is anything that the character used for leveling up, I'm going to stick, stick over in the bank. So this was not used. This was just something we wanted to kind of keep. So I'll put that here. The hero greatsword was used. Faded Leathers, I think we decided we would use at level 1. Same with Nick's Greatsword and Quarterstaff. And actually, I could probably uh, stick that here and use that myself. It's better than this weapon, so I'll stick that here. Uh, might as well, anything that, that um, is minimum level 4 and above and usable, like including these Faded Leathers, we'll, we'll just put them on our character. And then we are storing it, but it's not taking up an empty space. So then this is starter, so I'm gonna have to delete this. Uh, this is not something that we used. We did use gloves of the scoundrel, so I'll stick that up here. We did not epic voice of the master, something we're saving for later. Bottle of shadows we did not use, and this we did use, so we'll put that back there. Rough do dose we didn't use. We kept it because that a mythic armor plus four boost, which is kind of rare. Um, if it gets to a point where we have too much space, we'll probably delete that. And Kyber's Fury we kept just because we'll probably want to eventually do an Artificer Life, and it's a nice item. Um, so Stone Dust Leathers is minimum level 2, and that's probably actually better armor, so let me stick that on instead, since he's level 4. And we'll put the level 1 armor in the bank. That's useful for used for like 2 quests, I think. Granite Grippers... You know, again, I, th I think I could probably stick that on him unless I have something better. This is just Porthos gloves. Probably no better than this, so I'll stick this on him. Antique great axe. Uh, I want to say that my other weapon is better. I'll stick it up here. We may just delete this thing. I don't know that we'll need this. Uh, Battle war worn metal. I mean, I guess I could put that here. It's better than what I have. I have not, which is nothing. Lens is appearing. That's something we did use at level one for trapping. Ring of power was used or not used, so I'll put that down here. We did, uh, this this is actually for the unbound guy. This is going to be for it needs to go to his character bank. Uh, this is probably going to get deleted. I'll have to see. But it, anyways, all we want to put in him is bound account. I think some of the stuff I threw here just threw in here just to uh, all right this is not something we use but we wanted to keep and then uh, experience points will stick here as well for now uh, and then we'll put back all these all these um, collectibles we, we don't have room in our crafting storage uh, I guess we can put these in there because they're already there and same with essences um, but the other things we can't put in there so I'm going to stick them in this bank and then have my other character, including this crafting storage for the crafting uh, thing. And then my other character will just pull out the ingredients. And I guess I probably have these in my bag too, so I'll stick these in there. So now we have a lot of space for for storage still, uh, bound to account storage, and eventually I'll get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, and we're ready to go. So that is the crafty character. Um, on that crafting tutorial, technically you could you could make as you know we wanted one crafting elixir that he'll eventually use for crafting. He needs one of those, 
and then we'll get as many of these as we can. Many of these, uh, uh, they're not here, but the success boosters, here they are, as we can, as we want to get. Now, technically, because they're bound to account, you could delete this character and just keep remaking them to get more and more success boosters. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I, I think that's not working as intended. This stuff used to be bound to character, now it's bound to account. So I'm just going to use the ones I get normally and not delete a bunch of characters and make a bunch of characters to, to, to do that. But uh, you could get, you know, if you make five characters and delete five characters, you can get 25 success boosters to help with crafting when that time comes. I suspect at some point they're going to change that back to bound to character. Um, I, I don't know why it got changed to bound to account, but it seems they don't mind if people uh, do the delete. You know, it's time consuming, but you know, create characters to, to get those. So that is our banking character. Now we have a place to store our bound items with this new uh, new bank space that was just, or new uh, shared bank space that was just purchased. And as a reminder, this gives us 30 shares or 30 spots. Um, and if we look in the DDO store, I think the old sales are gone now, so we're going to see the the full price. But it never makes sense to buy more bank space because bank space costs 995 per slot and gives you 10 extra storage spaces. If you want more bank space, then what you do is you make another character on the account. A character slot costs 625, so it's less. It's currently on sale for 312. Uh, we need to save up for Epic Destiny, so we're not going to buy this, but um, a character slot gives you 80 spots because you get 20 for each of these tabs and 20 for this. Plus, you could run easy House Coin Lord favor and pro probably even House Kandarak favor, but a minimum Coin Lord favor and get another 40 slots without spending any points. Uh, in fact, you probably earn points by getting up to 100 by doing that. So, so if we need more storage space in, down the road, we're going to look for another one of these type of character slot sales. And we'll buy another character slot. Every character slot we buy gives us a minimum of 80 spaces. And with, by, or, or I'm sorry, by running house, Coin Lord Favor gives us another 20 because we probably won't get enough collapse portable holes to use to get the second 20. So we'll just run for the first 20. So that's 100 slots per character. Very easy. All right, that's that's how you make a banking character on the same slot and um, run the crafting tutorial to get yourself some bound to account items to share with your main character.